I'm falling apart. I know. Cause I'm falling apart away. Running with the things you see. <clears throat> Dang. In this thing, Sadi knows everything. What's good, y'all? We back in this. What's good? Somebody said to go. Hey, appreciate you, man. Gonna do Leonardo DiCaprio. Go ahead and make this a good size. Bet that's cool. Gonna drop the opacity down on our picture. Let's create us a layer right above it. Come over here and I'm gonna set my pressure, my pen pressure to my art tablet. You cannot do this with if you just using your mouse. You only can set pressure on pen if you got a digital tablet. You know what I'm saying? And that just means it uh your brush will react to how hard you're pressing down on it. Like if I go light, it'll make a light line. If I press hard, it'll make a thick line. So if y'all was wondering what type of brush I use, I don't use no special type of brush. I just Used to pr I just turn my pressure on with my uh tablet, you know what I'm saying, and I can make my lines thin if I press light, and I can make them thick if I press down hard, you know what I'm saying. So now <clears throat> I need to try to hit record, man. Let me record this so I also when we finish, man, I can drop you guys a goddamn speed art video. So with that said, let me, let me log out my OBS. I'm finna get started. Please be patient with your boy. Hey, can y'all hear me good? I want to make sure, man. Make sure everybody can hear me. Let me know, bro. Let me know if you can hear me, bro. I'll be having problems every time I try to. When I hit record on my OBS, sometimes it, it mess up my pressure settings. So let me try to get it. If it don't, okay, there we go. Bet we in the game. We got our pressure settings, and we got OBS recording at the same time. Yes. So let me go ahead and make my line a little smaller. Double click my brush. If you need help making smoother lines, bro. All you got to do is double click your brush and move your smoothness up. But I don't need too much help. I'm going to leave mine in the center. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And what are we going to do? You see how this pixelated? This is what I be telling y'all, bro. You have to improvise. You can't just rely strictly off your picture. Because once you start zooming in, like when it's far back, it looks perfect. But as soon as you start zooming in, bro, you start seeing all the flaws, all the dang pixels. So that's when you really just got to improvise, you know what I'm saying? So we just going to zoom in and we're going we just going to improvise. That's all, that's all we can do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to improvise. Put us a little line right there. Boop. Bring this line up. Another question too, bro. Do y'all like do y'all like these live streams or uh yay, no? Y'all let me know, bro. Cause whatever y'all say go. You feel me? Whatever y'all say be law. Y'all be like, bro, I don't like live streams. I wanna see I wanna see your your recorded tutorials with the with the uh with the intros i want to see that but if y'all like the live stream man i'll make sure i keep pushing way more live streams bro just let your boy let me know what good man 
See right here I gotta improvise a lot Cause this like I really don't know what he got down These lines trying to tell me to do So this is where you just Use your art skills And put them into play Stream is still black Oh shit I'm like what the fuck Bruh <laughs> Wait bruh So you telling me Wait wait okay Hold up Hold up Hold up I'm like bro, why the Okay look I'm glad I looked down and seen that Stream still black Let me see Let me fix that for y'all Display capture Add source Done There we go there we go, man. My bad, y'all. I'm over here talking. I'm over here talking. I ain't even looking. That, that's why it's good to pay attention. I bet. Here we go. We on now. Now, what I was saying is, when you zoom in too close on some of these pictures, bro, you start to realize the quality is terrible. That's why I'm saying you gotta improvise. You gotta, you gotta make it work, bro. So, I really don't know what these lines showing, but I'm using my my creative side to clean it up. And you're going to have to do that a lot when you're doing, like, little cartoon pictures, the cartoon heads, because your pictures ain't going to necessarily give you a good guideline all the time. So you just got to really, you got to do what you think a look best. So I'm going to just, okay, I'm pretty sure. Line right here. Let me close this line. Make sure your lines is getting closed off as well. So you won't have no problems. When it's time to color. Because a lot of people be telling me, man, why wouldn't I try to color a certain area? Color other areas I wasn't trying to color because you, you got gaps in between your lines. You're not making sure you're closing lines off. Like right here, I'm going to close this line off. Make sure it touch so I won't have no problems at the end. I'll come over here to these eyes. And it's very pixelated as soon as you zoom in extra close to the picture. It is super pixelated. So improvise, 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 bro. Let's see, now we're going to do the, the shape of the head, the outer shape. Let's see. Make that thing come on up. Close it off over here. Let's see. Got that closed off. Now I'm going to connect it right here. Make sure you're closing it off. Bring that on up. Make a smaller line. Come this way, and I'm just improvising, y'all. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to see. Put this over here. Put that little dip. Put that little dip right there. Let's see. Put this in there. I'm just improvising. Cause see, the closer you zoom in, you lose track of where everything glow. I said glow, or where everything go. Well, let me see. Somebody said hello. What's good with you? Finally, bro. Hey, wait. Do y'all like the live streams, bro? Or do y'all like the videos? Please let me know, bro. Let your boy know what's up. Do you like the live streams or the videos? What y'all like? I 
I wasn't looking, but I'm looking now. Somebody give me an answer, bro. Let's see. I'm I'm using my pencil tool right now to fill in this eyebrow. Yeah, got that thing going right there. Are you like both? Bet that's what's up, bro. You like both? See y'all saying y'all like both. So I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start doing like a regular tutorial video where I record it. And do my, you know, my normal intro. And then I'm going to start going live. So I get, like, the best for the people who just like the recorded videos. I'll be catering to, like, both both audiences. So let me, um, let me go ahead and make the back tone. Let me see what else we got. I've been inspired to go harder since becoming... A follower appreciate you bro i appreciate you for the support bro because to be for real y'all motivate me to go harder bro because i'm really i'm really trying to get better on my channel you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get better with the content I'm trying to get better with interacting with the audience with you guys and working at the same time trying to become like e bit youtubers you know what i'm saying so the only way i can do that if i can if i just stay grinding bro so i can get better at it because i that's the same way i got better at just drawing you know what i'm saying i just stuck with it so i know the youtube been running slow lately but trust me bro it's only a matter of time before I figure it out, bro. I find my niche. And I perfect it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a grind. Everything you, anything you want to do in life, it's a grind. You just got to want it, bro. And you can't, you can't make quitting an option. Failure can't be an option. Like, you just got to stick with it till you finally get it. Let's see, what inspired you to do what inspired me to do this um really just once I, I i started doing digital art just by seeing just experiment like just wanting to see what it's like because i really started just drawing heavily on paper bro i was just buying art sketchbooks to fill up i just wanted to buy nothing but paper and just pencils and acrylic paints and that's all i was into but then i was like man i, I want to see what that's like you know what i'm saying i always was curious about the digital art and soon as i start messing around with it bro i start really liking it so i was like dang and then found a fell in love with it bro then i just start you know what i'm saying working on it trying to get better at it but but yeah that's what really inspire me just wanting to see what it's like and then really falling in love with the digital the digital world you know what i'm saying perfect word for a family to say damn appreciate you bro let me see i'm just doing the base colors now we're gonna add all the shading and the details later let me go ahead and, um, wait, should I color that? Yeah, I'm going to just color this like this. Using my pencil tool. And to use your pencil tool exactly how I'm using it to be able to color, you have to make sure your color is on the top and your bottom color is locked. And then my settings for my pencil tool is right here. You double click your pencil tool to get to get this set and menu. And make sure your pencil tool is set like mine's. And it'll work as a fill in tool, like it'll color and fill in the inner area. You know what I'm saying? So whatever is my inner area, it'll fill it in. As long as I bring that line around, it'll fill it in. So that's what I use to do a lot of my coloring and my shading. 
So the pencil tool come in handy, bro. You just got to know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to come right here. Add this detail to the, into the eyes. Now, let's come back right there. We're going to add a little detail down here. But we ain't going to make it come too too far up. Just going to give it a nice little effect. Right there. Just like that. Now, we're going to go back to our brush tool and make it small. And we're going to add some details, some finer details. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to your pencil tool. I'm moving too fast. Go back to your pencil tool. You got to move this color on top. Make sure the bottom color lock. And I forgot to color this nose in. So I'm going to just make a, make a selection. And it's going to color it in. Trace this selection. So it'll color it in. And now we can go back to our brush tool. Go back to our brush tool. And make our brush size smaller. And we finna come up and add finer detail. I'm gonna come right here and add some fine detail. You know what I'm saying? Give it that effect like it's really, like the hair is really flowing. Oh. So, it's trying to make it look full. Come down here, do the same thing, man. Just got to make it look. Like it looked like it was a lot, a lot of work put into it. Okay, now we gotta break it off right here. And let me step back, see how it's leaking. Dang, wait, wait, we gotta lick it a little too full. We gotta lick it a little too full. You feel me? Wait, I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete that layer. Okay, delete that layer, probably delete some of this back too, because I got to make it fade, we got to make it fade, let's go back to my brush, make it fade, And how you do the, the hair fade effect, bro? How you make some some hair look like it's fading? You, you spread the hairs out. You know what I'm saying? And then to make it look like it's fading into more hair, that's when you start adding them closer. So they have a nice transition. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm doing my hairs or fades... It just depends on what you're going for. I wonder, can they see me? I think they can see me. YouTube tripping. I don't know why my junk tripping, bro. Yeah. So, uh, Mikey told me. Yeah, I just fixed the stream as far as when it was black. But I don't. I think my connection tripping or something that they said. I don't know why, bro. Let me try to refresh it. See, see what that help. Let me try to refresh. Love your drawings. Appreciate you, man. Young J. I 
wonder can they see me now? Can y'all see me now? Y'all watch all your vids. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for the support, man. That's love, bro. Appreciate you. Oh, you're so talented. Appreciate you. Thank you. It's on videos and the content is only going to get better, dog. That's all I think about every day. Like, what can I do to make my jump better? Just wanting to figure it out. Just wanting to get better. So whatever I whatever I really set out to do, I know I'm going to achieve it. Like, bro. Cause I don't stop until I find I finally get it exactly how I want it. So gotta stay grinding. That's the only advice I can give anybody. Cause that's the only advice that I use in my own life. You know what I'm saying? I just never stop grinding. If you never stop, you're gonna eventually achieve, bro. That's how I, I just view life like that. If you never stop, you're going to eventually achieve. Or you're going to be satisfied knowing that, like, bro, at least I never gave up, bro. I can live with myself knowing I never gave up on myself. I wouldn't even be able to live with myself if I know I just gave up on Chi. You know what I'm saying? So, the grind don't stop, bro. It's either succeed or die trying with me. That's how I feel. Succeed. Or die trying to succeed. You feel me? Ain't no such thing as quit. Ain't no such thing as giving up. Even when shit get hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie yet. It's gonna get tough. It still get tough for me at times. But at the end of the day, quitting, quitting ain't even an option. You see, I just made these little hairs right here. Watch this. Supposed to copy that. Hold out and drag it out. You know what I'm saying? Buy yourself some time. But don't do this everywhere because then it'll just look. It'll look computerized, bro, and you don't want that. So you just want want to buy you a little time, but you don't want to just go ahead and use that method for the whole thing, cause you'll have it looking too neat. So, but you don't want it looking too neat. So let's come and still on top of that, put our own individual pieces of hair so that'll blend right in and it won't even be a focal point. It just look like, dang, bro, you drew all that. Nah, we we cheated a little bit. We cheated just a tad, but it's all good. So, as long as all the little hair fit, let me step back, see how we looking. Okay, cool. Cool is good. Now I'm finna, I'm finna do another one of those buy me time tricks. I'm gonna start right here. Add us some nice little, nice little pieces of hair. Add some hairs right here. See how I'm doing this? Now watch. We're going to go back to our selection tool. We're going to cover that. Hold out. Pull that thing on down just like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back with our brush. And we're gonna fill in so it'll fade better. It just takes some practice, man, with the little the hair effect, but you gonna get it. You gonna get it, bro. Let's see. And pull this on over. Wait, what do you no? Do you make enough off YouTube commission to live comfortably? Um, 
YouTube, bro. Lately, bro, it's been it's been tripping, tripping, bro. Like, cause YouTube kind of work like stats, bro. It be going up sometimes for me, and then sometimes it'll just randomly go down, and I be I be grinding just the same. So it's it's really unpredictable, bro. I think it's unpredictable until you get like a certain amount of loyal supporters you know what i'm saying when you because the subscriber count is cool but when you get people that's really subscribing and still coming back to watch your videos and stuff like that that's when you can make a uh, comfortable living off youtube that's why i be trying to get y'all to hit that uh post notification you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i just gotta I just got to grind where my content is good enough where people just want to stay coming back. So if you creating good content on YouTube as far as where people always come back and just watch watch your videos every time you drop, like, yeah, you can make a very nice living, bro. That's why you see a lot of these bloggers that's very successful that post daily because they got a loyal fan base that's going to come daily and make sure that that person can do that for a living. You know what I'm saying? People like people like DDG, Cash Nasty, Flight, like they got a nice fan base where they can maintain a certain amount of views to make a nice living off of it. But I'm grinding to get there. You know what I'm saying? So I just got to figure it out, bro. I just got to I gotta find my niche as far as in this community. And I also got to put out, I already know I can draw. But at the end of the day, when you on YouTube, you still have to learn how to entertain. And that's what I got to become great at. You know what I'm saying? I'm a great, I'm a great artist. But I got to become a way better entertainer to to be able to entertain you guys comfortably. I mean, where I can just do this and everybody just love to come because they know, oh, dang, we're going to be entertained. Because the reality of it is, like, just strictly watching art, you know what I'm saying? I know it can get boring. So you got to really find a way to put your personality in there so that's 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 what i'm working on i'm working on being more open you know what i'm saying if i could if i put that in some good words but sometimes bro sometimes i make a good living on here and sometimes i don't but that's why it's good like to have more than one hustle so like i i, I make money on youtube but i also if I if I need to, I start taking commissions. I'm like, okay, I gotta I gotta do my YouTube thing, but I still gotta take commissions. I gotta take a little more commission. But my goal is to really make YouTube like the main earning, so I can focus on creating. As far as just creating amazing art and I ain't got to worry about nothing else but just creating ideas I have you know what I'm saying so that's all I want to do is just create create freely though I love to create just to be able to wake up and draw whatever I want to draw so that's the main goal so I got to work on entertaining better so I just started doing cartoon work I'm using the mouse to draw the character in the shoes or you keep making lines instead of making Oh, okay. I don't know. I know exactly what you talk about though. Sometimes Adobe Illustrator will correct the line too much when you wasn't trying to get it to do that. And I don't know how to fix it. It's just that bro, really what I do when my lines start like overly trying to correct itself and i'm not trying to get it to do that i just keep deleting the line and redrawing the same line over and over until i finally get it look up and that's the only thing i do not like about adobe i don't have that problem 
inside of a uh, clip studio paint but adobe bro the line try to correct so much where it it do it at the wrong time you know what i'm saying so i don't know how to fix that that problem bro i had that same problem to this day the lines try to correct itself too much at times where i'm like okay i really wasn't trying to correct it even when i turn it down it still try to fix what i was doing so i guess it's just a flaw of adobe's but I'm pretty sure you keep working with it like I did, you'll find a way around it. I just keep deleting my lines <laughs> until I get until I get the line to do exactly what I want it to do. I just keep okay, I gotta delete. Try that line again, delete, try that line again. So, so are you finally doing I've been doing artwork for Oh, yeah, I want to start doing speed art video, bro. Do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. Trust me, I'm gonna figure it out. It's really just getting, getting comfortable with talking. Just getting comfortable with talking, really, and getting comfortable with yourself. Cause it's kind of, I used to think, man, people, people make money just by turning the camera on, but bro, it's hard to to talk to a camera bro i know it sound weird like why we, why is it hard because you can hold a conversation with it uh, like with people all day but it's hard to hold a conversation mainly with yourself you know what i'm saying because it kind of feel weird it feel like okay bro am i just talking i'm talking to myself but it's a learning curve bro that's why i say Anything you do in life, bro, if you don't quit, you will figure it out and you will master it. So just like I'm telling y'all, I'm not good at it right now, but that's why I'm doing that's why I'm going live every day. I'm forcing myself. Anything that make me uncomfortable or I feel like I'm defeated by, I feel like, okay, I need to work on that more. I want I need to make that my my strength. So talking is not my strong point. You know what I'm saying? And entertaining is not my strong point, but I want to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? I want to really entertain people. I'm I'm not just a, a artist. I'm an artist artist as far as I make music as well. So I'm going to have to learn how to talk in interviews and all that. So why not practice on my YouTube channel? Everybody know I'm good at just posting art videos, but I want to work on something I'm not good at. That's what make you better tackling things you're not good at not being afraid to make mistakes and that's why i really been going live every day because i'm not good at going live every day and i want to get better at it i truly want this so i'm gonna go live as until it's normal you know what i'm saying so that's why that's what i want to tell you guys whatever you want to do bro so if you just if you're thinking about making a channel and you want to do speed art videos do it bro because who's to say you do it and it take off way faster than my channel you know what i'm saying so i'm not i'm not finna project a fear off onto you because it's not going my way because you're not me maybe maybe your personality uh people will gravitate to and you'll blow up in uh a month and it took me like five years everybody don't everybody don't have the same results you know what i'm saying so never let nobody project their fear off onto you because it's not working for them you know what i'm saying so i never do that to anybody so if you want to do youtube bro do it because you never know it you might take off doing it but you will never know if you never get started so if you want to make a channel do drop speed art videos bro turn up turn up because the hardest thing to do is start is start bro so whatever you want to do in life bro go at it because i'm trying to get better at entertaining so guess what i'm doing i'm going at it bro i'm going at it bro head first you got to 
But yeah. So, cause we already know I can draw. Now I gotta learn how to entertain while I'm drawing. So my channel will be more interesting and people will stay longer to really want to learn what's going on or be even interested. You know what I'm saying? Because you still got to learn how to entertain because all YouTube is is a platform and people people subscribe to channels because they want to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? So. And I got a passion for entertaining. I'm just not, I just don't, I'm not good at it. But if I got a passion for it, you got to work at it. And then eventually, I'll be the best at it. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the secret to life, bro. The secret to life is never quitting and don't, don't accept, don't accept failure, bro. Like. You you can never quit. And if you never quit, that means you will never accept failure. And that's the type of dude I am, dog. Like, I stay working at everything I'm not good at. So eventually I will be. And y'all need to be that same way. Y'all need to be that same way. Do it, bro. You got to have confidence in yourself. You got to say, you can't be afraid of what if. You can never be afraid of what if. You know what I'm saying? What if this happened? What if this don't work out? You will never know if you don't do it. Like if you want if it's a certain girl you want to talk to, but you like, oh man, what if she embarrassed me? Or a certain guy you want to talk to, oh, what if he embarrassed me? Like, fuck that. Like, I would rather somebody embarrass me other than live the rest of my life not knowing. Like live the rest of my life not knowing. Like what 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 if this would have happened or what if it would have worked? Like, nah, you don't want to be that person. So you got to accept. You got to be confident. Even you got to be confident with rejection, bro. You got to be cool with losing. You got to be cool with all that. Because how can you win if you're afraid to take a loss? You'll never, you'll never know how a win feel if you never put yourself out there to take a loss like uh even if you never take a loss you just can't be scared to go for what you want bro you just gotta do it don't waste no time waste no time i think look i don't talk i don't talk the line where it finished like i'm finna make this line more thicker at the top of the eyes with my pencil tool Gonna make this, make this have a nice little eyebrow. I mean, eyelash. I'm tripping. Got that eyelash going down. But yeah, bro, I'm finna. Uh, I probably when I finish this video, to be for real, I might just make a tutorial video, bro. Like when I get off live, I probably just make me a tutorial. Cause either way it go, bro, I gotta turn up, dog. I just feel like. I just feel like it's more I could do. You know what I'm saying? I like I want to push myself to this next level, dog. So I might drop a million videos if that's what I got to do to get to this next level. Cause at the same time, I notice the more I'm dropping videos, it's getting easier. Even though I already know how to draw, but it's just everything is it just get more easier the more you do things so if i'm if i'm constantly working if i'm just constantly working bro like eventually i'm gonna be like i'm gonna be like a god dang we is bro on this art we're doing art doing being creative talking so when i finally you got to understand your hard work never go in vain. So all this hard work, even if my channel just drop and I just start getting one viewer, one viewer alive, but I done got better at talking. I got better at drawing. My, my art is coming together faster and I'm, I became more entertaining, but 
during that process of practicing i lost all my subscribers that don't matter the whole point was to get better at what i set out to do so when my time come and i finally take off or get noticed again guess what now i'm a master at keeping my audience entertained and when endorsements come i know how to talk in front of a a college and explain myself good like represent me with the with the right words you know what i'm saying with i'll being nervous and i'm so used to i'm so used to failure that i'm i'm open for success you know what i'm saying so everything you do in life whether you think like dang this is i'm doing all this for nothing no you're not doing it for nothing everything you do in life is for a reason and it's gonna benefit you in the long run and that's how you you got to start seeing everything as a positive so even when my youtube started dropping like i got more subscribers but bro i was doing better back then <laughs> to be honest with y'all <laughs> look when the youtube started dropping i seen that motivation i was like bro it's forcing me to get out my comfort zone and it's forcing me to make me better you know what i'm saying and i always love a challenge dog i'm that type of person that'll try to figure anything out it ain't it ain't even got to be a situation where you got to figure it out i think it's just it's natural for a man to want to figure figure things out like we can call we can call help we can call a mechanic to come fix it like that know what they doing but men we like to figure shit out ourselves before we go to that resort where we like okay it's time it's time to call a mechanic man no bro i like to figure it out dog so anytime something go bad in my life i be like bro this a this a this a new mission for me to do it's something for, yeah, i just got something else to do i got something else to keep me got dang entertained so soon as stuff started dropping like my stats i started researching i'd be like what i need to do what i gotta do better what am i doing wrong you gotta take full responsibility for your success too at first i be wanting to blame things i be like man youtube cheat me this cheat me nah you youtube ain't doing nothing it's something i need to do better you know what i'm saying it's gonna force me out my comfort zone the best place to be is when you're not comfortable bro because when you're comfortable you're content with where you at you know what i'm saying like when i was when i was chilling with my friends and drinking and partying and all that doing all that crazy shit i was comfortable with not doing nothing with my life you feel me like i was comfortable with living every day like that no purpose just waking up and getting ready to go to the next party again i was comfortable with nothing like and that's the terrible that's the most terrible is place you can be in when you're content with nothing that basically meaning you're satisfied with being a zombie you know what i'm saying you got the power to do anything with your life but you're choosing not to do anything with your life you know what i'm saying and then once i realized once i realized what i was i was cool with doing nothing i started doing something and i stopped doing everything that was nothing you know what i'm saying everything that made me comfortable like smoking smoking will just make you comfortable bro like i was like why the hell i'm smoking when so all smoking do it'll make you relax why the fuck you want to be relaxed if you're really in a messed up situation that don't make no sense so basically you want you want you want a, a illusion of a good life of a good time of everything is okay you want just the illusion now nah, i don't want the illusion i want the real i want to really be comfortable i really want to be comfortable so instead i said you know what i ain't doing nothing no more i ain't smoking i ain't drinking i ain't doing none of that because all that stuff just made me cool it made me content and it made me feel like everything okay when it ain't and it's a lie 
So you never want to be content. Then I told myself, man, the only time I ever probably smoke, I said, if I'm chilling on stage with Snoop Dogg or something. You know what I'm saying? Or just something. Like, it got to be. But just just doing things to be, just to have a good feeling when, no, I don't want a good feeling. I really want everything to be good. So, that's what you got. You, you, one thing about life, bro, I'm going to tell you this. You can't blame nobody for your life. You can't blame anything for your outcome. God gave everybody free will. So if you're blaming somebody for why you ain't successful or why you couldn't do something, you're basically saying they were in control of your life and you're not, you don't think for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that don't, that, that, that'll never work. You can, you got to hold yourself accountable for everything in life. So, Cause if you hold yourself accountable, you can start making changes. Because when you once you start blaming other people for why you're not succeeding, you're setting yourself up to make an excuse where you can be comfortable. You can be comfortable with saying, "Oh, if anybody asks me why I didn't make it, I can just say because of this person." You can't be like that. You gotta hold yourself accountable. Cause once you start holding yourself accountable. That's when you start making changes. You feel me? So, just like with my channel, the reason my channel ain't taking off like I want it to is because I got to get better at what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everything you do in life, everything you do in life, bro, if you look at it in a different light, it's beneficial to you. You know what I'm saying? Everything you look at in life, if you look at it in a different way, it could be beneficial. So even the worst and the darkest moments in your life, it can it can wind up being the most meaningful moment in your life because it can change something about you for the better if you look at it in another way you know what I'm saying so always always try to find a reason to 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 grow you know what I'm saying as a person always try to get better at whatever you love or whatever you want to do bro so that's all I'm doing. I'm living testimony. I'm basically documenting. I, I'm I'm seeing YouTube as a a document. You know what I'm saying? I'm documenting my trials and my errors. Like I can't hide it. Y'all y'all see y'all see when I fall off. Y'all see when I'm at my 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 highest peak, or y'all see when I reach my peak. Y'all can see it. You can just type it in and. And see my view count. You can see my views fell off. You can see when subscribers stopped subscribing. You can see it all. So it's all on Front Street. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a living testimony. I'm going to be that living testimony. Bro, if you never quit, you can get there. You feel me? And that's what I'm going to do. Like when, when things don't work, bro. You got to make it work because everything in this life ain't nothing in the world given to nobody. Everybody had to work for it. Everybody, somebody had to work for it. You know what I'm saying? Even if kids are grew, grew, grown up in a rich, a rich family, they didn't have to work for it, but their parents work so they can not have to work as hard. You know what I'm saying? So that's the goal. Somebody got to put in their work, and I want to be that somebody. You know what I'm saying? And if everybody had that mentality of never giving up, bro, you it'll be so many successful people, bro. It really would. It'd be so many successful people, dog. It's just that when people don't see the results and things ain't going their way, that's when they bail out. 
Oh man, this ain't working out. No, it ain't gonna work out until you make it work out. So that's my goal, dog. Just stay focused. Stay working hard. Stay figuring things out. Cause that's how I got here, dog. If I would have quit, if I would have quit a, a long time ago, bro, I would I would never be here. Like, I probably would still be chilling with with friends that just want to chill, dog. Like, really. So, when you quit, you never win. But when you stay working, you will eventually see how it feels to win. Because you'll be winning. So that's the whole that's the whole message of today. Whatever you want to do, never let nobody never let nobody make you feel like dang I was shoot since they're going through that I don't want to try that. Nah, never let nobody intimidate you cuz everybody are different, you know what I'm saying? Just like I told you like the guy that was just asking me he thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Start it, bro, cuz you might take you might take off immediately. Everybody path ain't the same and everybody success story don't supposed to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that successful people have in common with all the other successful people is determination. That's it. Because some people got successful quicker than others. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it did. It ain't working. Oh, my donation button ain't working. See, a lot of things been going wrong, bro. But it's all good, bro. Long as you, it's the thought that count, bro. I appreciate you just for wanting to donate. That just let me know that okay, I'm I'm on the right track, and it's gonna get better, dog. As far as my content, Henry Gomez. Henrique Gomez, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, dog. Clyde Orno. Oh, you and your son need to uh, know all the equipment. Okay, what I'm using, bro, is a uh, a digital art tablet, and it's called a UG. And I got this tablet off of Amazon. And another thing I use to draw on is the iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. And here it go. I'm going to show you how it look like. What it look like. The iPad Pro, the 12 inch, I got off Apple.com where you can custom make it when you go to the site. The Apple.com. So I got the 12 inch. I put 500 gigabytes in it. And um, I bought the Apple Pencil. And you buy the Apple Pencil with it so you can have the pressure option. So you got to make sure you buy the Apple Pencil, bro. And then the, my favorite program to use on the iPad is uh, Clip Studio Paint. Well, no, nah, that's Procreate. It's my bad. My favorite app on the iPad is called Procreate. And I'm telling you, bro, it's like, it's perfect. It's the best, it's the best app on the iPad Pro. And what I'm using on my desktop is Adobe Illustrator, and I'm using Clip Studio Paint. But Clip Studio Paint is a lot cheaper than Adobe, and it have more options, bro. Like, you get to do way more stuff. It's kind of like having two programs in one. And inside of uh, Clip Studio Paint, you can animate. Like, it got an option in there, like, you can really animate a cartoon if you just sit down and learn all the features that it have. They have a lot of features, bro. You can create your own brushes in, in, inside of that program. I just never really sat down and thoroughly learned everything, but it's a it's an amazing program, and I think I paid like $50 for it, and it's a one-time pay. But Adobe is like you got to pay every month. Adobe Illustrator, you got to pay every month. But I'm using a UG art tablet. It's spelled U G 
E E, and it's a cheap brand. It's like an off brand of a Wacom tablet. The Wacom tablet is the best art tablet you can ever purchase. Wacom, that's the only brand you will see in a store. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the original art tablet, the Wacom tablets. So eventually, I will invest in a, uh, a Wacom Pro with the 4K display. That's what I'm gonna uh, get in the future. But yeah, bro. That's pretty much about it. And uh, the the computer I'm using, I'm using a gaming computer, bro. That's what I'm. That's what I got my art tablet connected to. A gaming computer, custom build. It has a. Uh, I really maxed it out. You really don't gotta do all all the things I did to mine. Like I did an overkill because I just really wanted to, and I do a lot of other things other than just uh just art you know what i'm saying so i i went ahead and maxed out my computer to make it future proof and i also knew that i would be recording streams and doing a lot of other things editing wise so i went ahead and maxed out my computer with a i9 processor 36 gigabytes of uh no nah, i think i got 60 64 I think I got 64 gigabytes of RAM and a couple of terabytes. And uh what I got a, a two a 2080 graphics card. But yeah, I just maxed it out because originally i was planning on um doing like 4k i'm still is it's just that i haven't got everything together yet but in the future i will be doing a lot of 4k editing you know what i'm saying so i went ahead and made a beast and a lot of gaming too that's why i'm finna set up my twitch and get my twitch right because i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna start back doing gaming on my spare time But yeah, bro, that's pretty much everything. Are you joined by Hansel or Mouse? I'm joined I'm joined with my uh UG art tablet, bro. That's what I'm joined on right now. But I can I can also do a tutorial of a cartoon head with my mouse. It just takes longer. So it can be done, bro. I did, I got a couple of videos where I, I strictly use my mouse. Some nice little tone. Let's see what we got. Fortnite. You 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 playing Fortnite? Bro, I never played Fortnite in my life, bro. Ever. But I do play some PUBG, bro. Which I I might be playing later tonight, man. I love PUBG Mobile. If y'all ever trying to run one with me, man, I ain't, I ain't no like, I ain't no like crazy celebrity that just like, oh, he will, he'll never add me, bro. Don't even be thinking that. I play with anybody, bro. I just don't really be knowing how to add folks. So I'm gonna get my girl like, send me a request on Pull G, a friend request, and I'm gonna get her to accept it and all that stuff. And you can run one with your boy. You feel me? I'm just a regular dude, bro. I know a lot of folks when they be messaging me, they be like, bro. And another thing, too, I want to touch on. A lot of times people message me, and when I finally see it, they be thinking that, oh, bro, you too good for me. I've been messaging you, and you ain't respond, bro. I really ain't see your message. And it would be so crazy. I'd be like, bro, y'all be y'all be seeing me on YouTube. Y'all know I don't be on Instagram if I'm on YouTube this much. <laughs> bro, I really, I really get on most of the time when I'm on Instagram, dog, it's the post art on that page. You know what I'm saying? Art that I did on YouTube. Like Instagram is is late to what I already did. Cause I I draw it on my YouTube first. And then I post what I drew on YouTube to my Instagram. And then 
when I when I remember it, I be like, oh man, let me go check my inbox. Let me go check my inbox. And then and then and then I have so many message requests and I try to it be a lot of people asking for help. And I really try to sit there and talk to them. Or, and there'd be a lot of people sending me messages showing some love, bro. And I try to let them know how much I appreciate them. So if I don't get to you, bro, don't think I'm being bougie, bro. Because you can't be bougie if you're broke, bro. <laughs> I ain't rich. <laughs> only only the rich people can, can be bougie, bro. You feel me? So I'm just thankful, dog. Like. I'm thankful that people even is interested or even watching. I know I got I got forty, I got forty people in my live right now, but I feel like dang, bro, I got forty thousand people. Say like, I'm thankful, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. So, nah, I don't feel like I'm too good for nobody, bro. Like, nah, I don't think nobody should feel that way about they self. I don't think nobody should feel like, okay, I I'm I'm above these people. Like these people are beneath me. Nah, everybody on the same level, bro. Like to me. It's just that people are more successful talent wise as far as that's it. That's the only thing. Everybody everybody on this earth is the exact same. It's just people has reached a more successful level than others with their gift. That's that's the only that's the only difference. The success wise, but as far as that, we all the same, bro. Like ain't nobody better than nobody. We all the exact same, bro. We human. We make we gonna make mistakes. We gonna we gonna we gonna contradict things we say at times. We gonna be human, bro. We're not perfect. Ain't nobody on this earth. Even your favorite celebrity, your favorite superstar, they're not perfect, bro. So, once we realize that, bro, we'll stop putting people on a pedestal and we'll be able to treat people and everyone like people. Like, even when you when you meet your favorite celebrity, bro, you should still remember, okay, they're just human, bro, and I admire what they do, but I'm not going to take it past that. That's why I be, I be feeling uncomfortable when people be like, oh, bro, I'm so, I'm so glad to talk to you. I be like, bro. I'm you, <laughs> why, <laughs> bro? I'm just a regular dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I really appreciate all you guys, bro, for your support, bro. And I know I got a, I got a, I got some loyal supporters in here, man. And y'all the reason. I know y'all be saying I'm a, I'm a big motivation to you guys, but bro, y'all, y'all are motivation to me. Y'all are the reason that. I'm pushing myself to a limit. Like, I'm holding myself to a, a certain standard now. Like, y'all are the reason. So, just like y'all be saying thanks to me, bro, I thank y'all, bro, for just making me want to grind even harder for putting that motivation inside me just with your your positivity, with your your just support bro like y'all y'all some of the realest people bro for real feel how you feel about the apple out that coming out oh i gotta check it out bro i didn't i didn't even know i'm gonna check that out you said yeah i'm finna draw his hair blood yeah i had to do the uh a base color you know what i'm saying but yeah, his hair gonna be blonde. And I need to um speaking of I think I did his eyes the wrong color. I don't think he got blue eyes. I think it's like okay. It's kinda like Let me see what color his eyes is because i'm thinking okay it's kind of it, it's kind of it's kind of greenish bluish if that make any sense it's kind of this color right here that i 
No, nah, no, nah, you you really lately, Tier. I'm telling you, yo, yo, art senses has been getting like, bro. I respect. That's why I just listened to what you were saying just then. Like, trust me, you don't have to be good, like perfect at drawing, drawing, but you still have an artist eye when you you can notice something need to be changed. You know what I'm saying? So anything that's any opinion that can make what I'm doing better, I'm all open, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me see put this right here. Just give it a nice little tint. So it don't look so flat. Okay, there we go. No. Yeah, give it a a brighter tone. Give it a little brighter tone right here. Cool, cool is good. Give it a little nice little tint inside the eyes. Now we're about to come down here. And add some shadows to these lips. Let me. Let me see. Oh, you said you can use the the iPad as a second stream. Oh, for the Mac though, I got Windows, bro. But it, it uh, uh, if I'm not drawing on Mac, you know what I'm saying. But damn, so that would have came in handy, bro. If I would have had a Mac. No, I'm talking about I'm not. And then the thing about it, like. I love the Apple, but I'm really, like, computer desktop-wise, I'm a Windows, like, fan, dog, like, to the core, dog, like, I'm a Windows fan. That's why, you know what, I bought a Mac a long time ago, because I was thinking, like, bro, I'm finna get in this Mac world, so I got a Mac Pro. And then after a while, like, I just gave it to my girlfriend because I see she was using it way more than me and way better. I was like, bro, I, I, I got to go back to Windows, bro. <laughs> this Mac is not for me. But she loved Mac now. That's why every time she, I try to touch her laptop and get on it, I be like, shit, this shit is, no. <laughs> and then I just pass it right back to her. And then I said, I want. I walk right back over here to my computer. I'm like, ah, right, you can keep that. Let me just go back to my back. I mean, my windows, bro. I don't even like to surf the the Google. I don't even like to get on YouTube on your on your Mac. But it's crazy. I love my iPad though, to death. Like the iPad, bro. Let me tell you what happened with my iPad, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all the story, bro. Never told this story before. Okay, look, a long, like, probably, how long was it? It was a lot, just, I'm going to just say a long time ago, not too long ago, about three years ago, yeah. Look, all my equipment just started tearing up, bro. Like, it just started tearing up. I think my computer crashed, and my art tablet tore up. My UG, I think the ports just stop working, bro, because I always, when I go somewhere, I take my entire setup, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know that's crazy, but I was doing it, bro, because I just, I couldn't be away from art, especially digital. I was having so much fun. So everywhere I, I went, I was like, bro, I got to bring all my setup. So eventually, my, my UG to, tore up. So I was like, dang, it tore up. And then I was like, I was making money using my UG, so how the hell I'm gonna make money with it gone? So, my uncle dog, like, soon as he found out, he just called me. 
And he said, check your email. He said, check your email because he just found out my tablet was messed up. And I kid you not, he had me a gift card, bro. He had me a gift card that's worth like, for like a a thousand dollars. He had me an Apple, a Apple gift card that was worth a thousand dollars, bro. And bro, as soon as he sent that, I was just so thankful, dog. And I went and bought that Apple, the the Apple tablet I use to this day. Like I use it to this day. And bro, as soon as he did that, I I bought that Apple. I I worked my way back up and made me some money off that for the time being. Got my my setup back and I was back working, bro. But he made he made an investment. He he made he put an investment in me and I I really used it, bro. So I, I'm I was very I'm still am I'm very thankful. I was very that's something I never forget. I was like, dang, my uncle really believed in me when everything went down. He no thought i didn't even know that was happening bro he just called me he said hey check your check your email he ain't even say what to check it for but i checked it and he sent me a thousand dollars on an apple gift card because he's a fan of apple so you know like <laughs> i was like dang i was happy i was like bro it's a blessing i could have got nothing so shoot i took my blessing and i made it work for me bro i was thankful Shoot, that made me an Apple fan that day. I said, "Shit, <laughs> go get." We finna show love to Apple then. Then I bought my, I bought my tablet that I use to this day. The same exact tablet, bro. I use to this day for everything, for art tutorials, for everything, bro. So, yeah, that jump, bro. Yeah, I never forget that. That was that was some love, there. Yeah. Just having having somebody in your family that really support, like, you know, everybody say they support you, but that's a different level when somebody really, like, uh, uh spend their hard-earned money and invest it in you, you know what I'm saying? So that's just, like, anybody can say they support you, but when somebody go out their way and spend money that they work for, bro, like, I was like, bro. So, yeah, that's that's how everything, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, to this day, I use that. I use that iPad, bro. Like, gonna use it, use it to it burn out on me. Let me see. I gotta blend this color a little bit. But yeah, this pitch about to look crazy, bro. I'm just trying to find a. Yeah, we about to start on the hair now. Okay, we got. We got a nice little tone to him now. I just want to put a couple of highlights on his face. Cause you know I like to overkill with my shade. Huh? We just gonna put. Yeah, I probably yeah I probably need to add that, but in color. So I'm gonna put this right there. I appreciate you. Add the the highlights on his face. Go ahead and bring this thing over right here. Bring this highlight on up in that corner. And this one right here. And I want to tell where this cheekbone at. And there we go. We ain't gonna do too much. Now we can start on the finer detail of the hairs. So what we finna do? We're gonna put our glares in the eyes. 
Give me some nice little glares. Nice little shine. Got a nice little shine going. Let's cr let's create us uh some hair texture now. So now I just gotta find a good tone for the hair. And you know what we can do? Yeah, I'ma just this how we gonna get that effect. Pull this down. Dang, I wish I can see what I'm doing as well. Speaking of, I'ma just get my brush out since I can't really see what I'm doing. Make this brush smaller. And we just gonna put it on top. We just gotta make it flow just like it's flowing on the picture. Gonna give us that nice looking, that nice looking effect. It ain't gonna make a difference until we uh add a lot of a lot of pieces of hair. No, nah, not for real. I just want it to flow good. That's why I'm, that's why I'm being steady. I just I'm ju I just want the main pieces to flow like it's really flowing before I start really just going insane. So making this tone right here, make that tone. Brush smaller. It's just gonna get that effect. Oh, you know what I could have did? I forgot I used a black base. I'm finna use the gradient effect. And I really don't know how I made that up, bro. I was just, I did that by luck one day. The grading effect. I was like, nah, it ain't, I forgot, I forgot I made the base, the base black. That make it easy. Because it's easy to fade from black to a color. Give it brown, brownish tint. Okay, pull these closer, paint this a little better. further back so they can fade all right cool i forgot i made a gradient i mean a uh, a black base We're gonna make 
this way go this way this way Oh, it was gonna look better. It was gonna look good the first way I did it, but it would have took longer, bro. It would have took more time. But I forgot why I made my bait my base color black so it'd be easier. Cause a lot of times, bro, you don't want to spend too much time, especially if you're trying to do cartoons for a living, bro. You don't want to spend way too much time where what you getting paid is not worth the work you put in you know what i'm saying so you always got to find ways to make it easier for you you know what i'm saying because art take time so you need to find methods to make your job a little more easier so you can create faster especially if you're trying to make a living off of it it's all about finding cheaper, faster ways. <coughs> mm. Who's my teacher? Who said that my teacher? L O L Maroc. Nah, you're not my teacher, bro. Ain't nobody taught me. God just gave me a gift. Now, if you got now, you my teacher, bro. Because I was just born. I was just born with a gift. I never went to school for it or anything. I just had a passion for it. Anything you got a passion for, you're going to get better at it. Oh, you like the hair? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here and they said they made hole. Okay, yup. Make another hole. Wow. Nah, I know he play. I know they were just playing, but see. We don't play like that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't play like that. Nah, bro. To be honest with you, bro, if anybody, if anybody helped me with anything, though, I don't mind giving the person credit. But I'm gonna need all my credit though at the same time, especially if I put in the work. And that's just how it is, bro. Hey, it's funny you said. It's funny you said that. Those are good names, Brad Pitt. Oh, an Asian woman. That'll be dope. And another person I gotta do, bro. I gotta do Will Ferrell, bro. I love Will Ferrell, dog. Hell yeah, he so got that. That man so got that. Ain't funny, bro. I gotta, I gotta draw Will Ferrell, Will Smith. Uh, I'm gonna just draw my favorite goddamn. We gotta draw uh, Jackie Chan and Jet Li and Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, my favorite fighter of all time, bro. So if y'all, y'all better remember that. You never know. You never know when I, I asked that who my favorite fighter. Bruce Lee is my. I used to try, bro. I used to really try to be like Bruce Lee. 
Return of the Dragon and all that shit, bro. I was my favorite actor. Shit, I got so many. It just depends on what you're talking about. I told you I love Will Ferrell. Are we talking about Will Smith? Yeah, that's the goat, man. Cause he's versatile. I like I like the fact I like the fact Will Smith can get serious and he can be funny. He know he know how to switch. It's a lot of actors that once you get used to them playing a certain role, they only can play that that type of role. They can't play nothing else. So when they're they're when they when they get a serious role, like they can't really transition. But Will Smith, he know how to make you out there laugh, cry, just take them serious. He know how to like. He done mastered that. And th- that's just like that. I gotta master my goddamn entertaining skill, man. I gotta, I gotta. I ain't gonna be no actor though, cause everything I say real, you feel. But yeah, I gotta learn how to become a better entertainer. Everybody know I can draw. Denzel, bro, I was just about to say that he another one of my favorite actors, bro. He very versatile and he very talented as well, bro. Yeah, he he a dope actor. Who else I like? That's big. Who was just a super versatile actor? What's that dude named Tierra that played in Two Face? What's his name? Yeah, he old, but he five two. Like he another at that I like, and he played he played uh Ghost Rider, Nicholas Cage, bro. That's another good actor, Nicholas Cage. I used my favorite movie back in the day. Like y'all probably won't even know this. The only reason I know it because uh I watch old movies, bro. That's older than me. Look, Grease. I used to love Grease, but my favorite Grease movie was Grease 2. I used to watch that shit every day. Grease 2. Just the way bro, bro just came, build his motorcycle, and just was anonymous, bro. <laughs> that shit was so dope. To me. <laughs> that bro learned how to ride his motorcycle and just came and took over. I used to love Grease. Grease, I used to watch Grease back to back, and I used to watch goddamn uh, Purple Rain. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Another one of my favorite movies, bro. Pulp Fiction, bro. I'm a movie person, dog. Like, I, I really, like, when I get rich, dog, and I'm just drawing. Every time I finish drawing videos, I'm going to go to my, like, my movie theater, and I'm going to just watch all the old movies, bro, like, classics, dog. I'm talking about from, and I like scary movies, too. I'm going to be watching Children of the Corn, all kinds of crazy shit. Create an A-Rab cartoon character. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that, bro. Create create an Arab cartoon. Yo, I can do the Asian woman tonight. That would be dope. Yeah, we go. Yeah, you're not used to that style. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just to switch it up a little bit, man. We finna draw. Yeah, I know. Yeah, really? That's what it's st- that's where it starts. It starts with seeing it and breaking it down and then figuring out, okay, that's how I would approach it. And the more you see it, the more you'll realize, okay, I see the method now. Cuz art is just a method. You know what I'm saying? Learning the technique that's why if you was learning kung fu or anything, they would teach you the technique, the proper technique. That's all everything is. You learn a technique, you can master it. Let's make this hair a little. You said a little more blonde. Okay, that's the way we're gonna do that. We're gonna fade. We 
colors a little better. Pull that yellow back just a tad. Okay, let's see what this look like. I think that's it. There we go. There we go, man. So what you think, T? You rocking with it? Let's see. Still running. We all recording. Recording in this room. Let's see. Let me tweak this just a tad. So it won't. Sh Said his beard. Tell my ass more little hairs. What color? Oh, I see what you're saying. Tell my down here. Yeah, I, yeah, I know what you're talking. I know exactly what you're talking about. They just need to bring that shadow up some more. Need to bring the shadow up a, a smidge, bro. We need to have a this little hip hop right there. Come in some Beijing. There we go. Give him a little Beijing. He good. All right, we good to go now. Now, who you said, what you think we should do next? Who you? A uh, Asian person. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we about to find a picture, man. Hey, we just finished this video. I'm coming right back. Let me go find this picture, man, so we can do this next picture, man. You feel me? I'm just, I'm just saving this. Uh, wait, I already said, I'm going to save this B, B2, B2K Paul. There you go. Lucy Lou, Lucy Lou, ain't that? Oh yeah, that lady from Kill Bill, the bad one. Hell yeah, yeah, we finna draw her. I, I'm finna get back on live, man, with the next character we drawing. So make sure y'all stay tuned. But I gotta end this one so we can start another one. I right, let go.